Central Pole. Uh, in fact, uh, that is, in fact, the Secretary General of the Lok Sabha, who is uh, sitting there, will be just briefing us, Utpal Kumar Singh, who is going to be briefing us in just a few minutes uh, as to what the final numbers are. Let's listen in. So uh, the Secretary General of the Lok Sabha, also the returning officer as far as the vice presidential poll is concerned. Uh, and of course, uh, Raj Sabha uh, uh, had in fact managed, uh, the Secretary there had managed the presidential election. And this is a tradition that every five years uh, uh, gets swapped. Now uh, the Lok Sabha Secretary General Utkwal Kumar Singh is expected to begin the briefing anytime now. He's sitting there and you can see him on the screens. The formal uh, result announcement is to take place in just a few minutes, but we've broken the news here. Uh, first on times now that it is Dhankar who has won this election and clearly of course the numbers are of course stacked up in favor of Dhankar. The numbers of course uh, uh, being hugely in favor of Jagdeep Dhankar in this entire poll. So let's uh, listen in live uh, to the briefing coming in from Utpal Kumar Singh. The briefing in fact expected to begin any moment now. Uh, this is of course going to be the results of the counting. The counting has concluded and now of course uh, there is a prepared document there which is going to be read by the Secretary General of the Lok Sabha, Uttar Kumar Singh, there is going to be briefing us uh, as to what the final numbers are, the final tally is as far as the Vice Presidential Poll is concerned. Let's listen in. President was issued on 5th July 2022. In all, 50 nomination papers were received till the last date for submission of nomination papers. After scrutiny, nomination papers filed by Sri Jagdeep Dhankar and Srimati Margaret Alva were found valid. The polling for the 16th Vice Presidential Election 2022, which commenced at 10 a.m. today in the Parliament House, closed at 5 p.m. Out of 780 electors comprising of elected and nominated members of Rajya Sabha and elected members of Lok Sabha, 725 electors cast their votes. The total elector turnout was accordingly 92.94%. The ballot box was sealed immediately after the close of poll at 5 p.m. in the presence of authorized representatives of contesting candidates and election observers. The counting of votes commenced at 6 p.m. after the ballot box was opened in the presence of authorized representatives of the contesting candidates, election observers, and counting officers. 725 votes were polled, which was 92.94% of the total electorate. 710 votes were found valid, and 15 votes were found to be invalid. Thus, the percentage of valid votes is 97.93%. The quota sufficient to get a candidate elected is determined by dividing the total number of first preference votes secured by both candidates by two and then adding one to the quotient. The quota necessary for being elected to the office of Vice President of, uh, Vice President of India was determined to be 356 votes. On the basis of counting, Sri Jagdeep Dhankar secured 528 first preference votes and Srimati Margaret Alva 182 votes. Therefore, in pursuance of the provisions contained in Section 11 of the Presidential and Vice Presidential Elections Act 1952, 31 of 1952, read with Rule 35 of the Presidential and Vice Presidential Election Rules, 1974, I, Utpal Kumar Singh, the returning officer for the Vice Presidential Election 2022, hereby declare that Sri Jagdeep Dhankar, Raj Bhavan, Ward 45, Hare Street, Kolkata, 700001 has been duly elected to the office of Vice President of India. I will be forwarding to the Election Commission of India Form 7 
under rule 351c which is the return of election to the office of the vice president of india and also a declaration of result of election under section 11 of the presidential and vice presidential elections act 1952 read with rule 35 of the presidential and vice presidential election rules 1974 Election Commission of India would then prepare the certification of the election of Sri Jagdeep Dhankar as the Vice President of India jointly signed by the Chief Election Commissioner of India Sri Rajiv Kumar and Election Commissioner Sri Anup Chandra Pandey thank you we will send all the necessary papers to the election commission immediately after that thank you